Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about key bindings. All right, so to get your key bindings open, you're going to press the escape key and it's going to open the settings menu. And over here, you'll see the key bindings uh, key right here. So click this and it'll open up your keyboard shortcuts. So here is all your key bindings. And if you look at the top right, you'll see there's presets. Um, you'll have a total of three presets. If you, you can use all three if you want. Um, I don't have any. I just have my one presets because as a Dark Knight, we don't have that many skills. So let me show you guys what it looks like here. So you have your second key set bindings. Um, if I apply this, this is what it looks like. So I don't have any more skills on my keyboard. And this is essentially how it looks like when you start the game. Um, it might look different for new players because there is a new uh, preset or a new style for the key bindings for new players. And I think if I click reset here, so this is when you when you start the game, this is the two options that you're given. You're given basic key settings and secondary key settings. I typically choose basic key settings. That's how original MapleStory was set up. It might be a little bit different, but this is closer to what everybody else is playing with. Uh, secondary key settings, you can see that it sort of caters to the QWER and ASDF playstyle, which is not really how MapleStory is played. Uh, MapleStory is typically played using buttons like the control button, the alt button, home, um, space bar and etc so let's take a look at what basic key setting looks like so if i click basic key setting and apply it this is what you get so this is a little bit different from what we just had um, but this is essentially what you're going to have when you first create your character with basic key settings and i don't like this because this is not what i'm familiar with this is a new change um, so I would change this to make it look like this, right? Um, or like this. So you see on the, uh, the F keys, I have my facial expressions. This is what we're used to in old Maple Story. Um, we have chat, uh, Maple chat here. We have the cash up here. And then we have our uh, other chats on the one, two, three, four, and five. Um, and everything else is here. Um, but if we look here, it kind of looks different, right? So we have the F keys are no longer the facial expressions. The, the facial expressions are no longer um, applied um, to a shortcut uh, compared to the original, right? Um, so I like the way the original looks uh, because it's what MapleStory um, had for a long time. I don't know why they changed it to this, um, but... This is, this is not a problem. Um, you still have your jump at your alt, right? Alt is jump, and your attack key is control. Um, and then your harvest is on your space bar. That's the same, Th these stayed the same, right? Um, so let me guys, let me show you guys what I like to do. So when, when you start the game, right, you're greeted with this uh, keyboard shortcut. Um, and I like to change things a bit. So I would change this harvest key and place it into Y. Uh, the reason why we do that is because when we talk to an NPC, I could just hold down Y and skip the entire dialogue and also accept the quest because the character Y or the key Y is also the shortcut for yes. So if you if you left it on space, if you hold down space, you'll do you'll go through that dialogue, but it'll it'll stop at the accept button because the space does not accept the quest. Whereas if you place it on Y, it'll go through the dialogue and also accept the quest. So it's just a lot faster and more convenient. So that's the first thing that I like to do. Jump, I leave it at Alt because that's what I'm used to, and then pick up. You can leave it at Z until you get a pet. Right, because I don't typically use this key any, um, because you have pets for picking uh, your items up. 
If you don't have a pet, I would leave it at Z is the most convenient um, place to put it, right? Um, right next to your jump. Um, but once you have a pet, you can easily move this to somewhere. I think I moved it to like period or something. Let me check. Yes, so I had mine on period. So if you go back here, so we can move this to period, just like that. Click save. Okay, attack. Right, so you can leave this in control until you have a skill that you want to use. So you'll typically start at like first job, right? So first job, you'll have like, for example, slash blast. Um, and this is your like first attack skill. Um, I would move this attack like somewhere like far away, like N, and then move your slash blast and control and save that. So now what you have is you have alt for jumping and then control right next to it. So I use my pointer finger for jumping and then my ring finger on my left hand to use my attack. So just like that. So this is kind of how like Maple Story is played, right? So your pointer finger, you can jump around. You can uh, me double tapping alt uses my flash jump, right? But essentially, that's that's the most comfortable way, especially if you're on a PC. To play the game so okay let's go back to this let me go back over here all right so let me show you guys so i have my main mobbing skill on control so that's kind of how i have mine set up so control uh is my main attack for mobbing alt jump and then my pickup is far away and also my attack is somewhere i can just use easily if i do need to uh, use the attack key um, you're rarely ever going to use it okay all right let's go back to our settings real quick so okay so this is what we have um, let's take a look at the keys that we don't use or we don't really need to look at um, i don't use event keys you don't need that you could remove that profession um we're going to we're going to use this but we're going to remove it for now uh, minimap, you can leave that there. Change channel, you don't need to use that. Okay, next, uh, characters info. Okay, so this, I would keep it an S because that's how original Maple Story had it for a long time. You can move it if you'd like, but I suggest it to stay at S because it's just a very convenient spot. Now, Guild is good at G. Whisper, you can keep it there. Um, don't typically use it unless you have people you want to talk to, like friends. Um, but we also have these like friends chat, guild chat, and this is specifically to whisper to one particular person. Um, you can remove this. I find it annoying when you accidentally click it as well, so I would remove this as well. Um, skills, keep it at K. This is a good spot for skills. This is original, uh, also an original key in the original Maple Story. Um, notifier, you can remove this. Medals, I would remove that as well. Quest log uh, at Q, I would keep that there. And then world's map, keep that. Equipment at E, keep that. Friends at R, I would keep that. And the harvest key at Y which we changed from space. And then the items is I, and then party at P, that would stay there. And then quick slots, this is the quick slots right here. Um, if you look at the bottom right, right, that's quick slots. Okay, so this is how I like mine set up, essentially. And then you have your one, two, three, four, five for the chats, like if I press one, I can, if I press one and I say hi, you know, I'm saying hi to all chat, right? Okay, and then all the F keys, we can remove all of this. We don't need this. Um, yeah, we don't need that. Okay, so there are a few things that we do need. Uh, like, for example, key bindings. I like my key bindings where original Maple Story had it, which is right here. I forgot what the name of this key is. I think it's like the slash through key but that's where it is. It's right above the enter key. So that's where I would like to keep my key binding. So if I click save and close out, I'm gonna press this key, right? Oh. 
and there you go. It opens up my keyboard shortcuts, and this is the key bindings. So, yeah, that's where I like to keep it. Um, and that's where original MapleStory had it anyways. So, I would keep it there. It's a very convenient spot. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's see what else we have. So, there's other things that we also want to keep. Uh, the guide. This is a very important one. for Especially for beginners, you want to have the guide easily accessible to you, and I like to keep it at U. So, U, if I save that, if I press U, it opens up the guide right here. So, U, for me, personally, I like to keep it at U. And then, let's see what else we have. You can move these facial expressions back to the F keys. They're cute, especially when you're interacting with other players. Um, and it, it's just where original MapleStory had um, the facial expressions. So I would move those to the F keys, right? So if I press, you know, like F1, F2, F3, F4, look at, the, look at my face. Or F5, angry face, very iconic. Also F6, if someone's like really weird, right? Okay. Um, what other keys do we need? Enhance equip, monster collection, event, boss party. Okay, boss party. So boss party is also another one that we want to keep. So I, I like to keep boss party on B. It's, it's just easier because B for boss, and it's just easier for me to memorize. So if I click B for boss, now you have your boss uh, menu. Um, and every every week you're gonna have to you know if you're if you like to get mesos bossing is the best way right so that's why this shortcut is really helpful so B for boss and right here you can just easily access all the bosses in MapleStory okay um what else do we have change uh, cash shop we don't need that notifier picture mode me maple maple replay familiar soul weapon I think we have every button that we care about. Um, yeah, so the reason why we don't care about any of these is because they are easily accessible in the menu. So if I click settings right here, all of these are accessible. Change channel, key bindings, joypad, and as well as if you go here, options, oops. We have the settings, and then we also have this menu. So a lot of those shortcuts we don't really need to access because they're accessible through the menu and they're not something you need a shortcut for. And the reason why we don't want it taking space in our keyboard shortcuts is because we want as much space as possible for our skills. Right, so this is essentially all the keys that you should care about, um, at least um, in my opinion, right? So, yeah, uh, go ahead and copy this layout if you feel like it's also benefit to you. Um, and the last key that we want to talk about is the combo key. So the combo key is a special key. It's right here. We're going to put this in this little, uh, I forgot what this key is called, but it's right next to the one. And what this combo key does is if you see this little button right here called combo key, if you click it, it opens up a new set of keys for me and you can also display it on the screen so let me show you guys an example of this um, I'm not gonna set it up now um, oh let me just show you so if I have a buff that I want to use now typically before we place buffs on these keys here right but that that takes up space I sometimes have to remove like the chats which is kind of annoying because I like to keep the chats here so I can easily chat to uh, people um, but sometimes you have way too many buffs and you don't have enough keys so you you end up like you know replacing all the chats um, and that's for me that's kind of annoying so instead what MapleStory decided to do was give you a combo key so instead of removing like let's say the, the, the chat um, let's say here right now we can just move our buffs into this combo key right here. And it's really nice because if I show you guys, like let's let's just put two skills here for now. Boom. So we didn't take up any space on our original keyboard. 
and we were able to place two uh, two buffs into our combo key. Let's put another one. Let's put. Um, let's see. Let's put this and this and what else we got. Alright. Um, let's see. I'm trying to find all of my buffs. Okay. Let's just let's just keep that for now. Alright, so I've applied a few buffs onto my combo key. Now I click save, right? So now all these buffs are there. Now all you gotta do is press this combo key, which is uh, I forgot what this key is called, but it's right next to the one. If you hold it, right, you see on the bottom, let me close this thing right here. If you hold that key, now you can see all the skills that were assigned in the combo key from one through seven. So while holding that combo key, you're gonna press these uh, these uh, numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then once you're done with a combo key, you just let go. So that's combo key. Um, this is a new thing in MapleStory, so there might be some players that not uh, that might not know about it. That's why I wanted to show you guys. But yeah, this video, anyways, was for players or new players um, that just got into the game. Um, and I hope this uh, has really helped you guys out. Um, let, let me show you guys my actual. Key bindings here and if you're a dark knight please fr uh, feel free to copy this um, this is how i like to play this is for mobbing and bossing um, you, you can see i don't have a lot of skills because dark knights we don't have that many skills like i, I got my mobbing skill here i got my bossing uh gungnir's descent skill here spear of darkness on my shift key my cyclone on x and then i have my dash um on c Right, and my up jump on A, it just makes sense. It just makes sense to have it on A, right? And then Z, very comfortable. I just use my middle finger for Z, hold it down, right? C, I use my pointer finger. So it's really, it's just really, my, my hand typically hovers around this little thing right here, right? Um, yeah, so m the majority of my attack skills are here. And then I will use my right hand to move my character with the arrow keys, obviously. And then if I need to use some burst or uh, other skills, I'll use it. Um, I'll use these uh, other keys the home, the page up, and page down, and then the insert key, as well as my uh, elixir, which is on delete. So these are all accessible with my right hand. And yeah, so you can also see I've did end up putting uh, skills on to my regular number uh, uh, number keys um, only because I just it's uh, it's necessary like these skills I need quick access to right um, because the combo key it takes a while like you have to hold it and then press the numbers uh, these skills I want to, especially during bossing, like I want to be able to click my uh, origin skill immediately because this will give me my iframe, which means I can't die, right, during the skill animation. So this is very important for me, especially in terms of timing. So I don't want to put it into a combo key because it just takes too much time for me to access it. Whereas buffing, you know, you you typically buff before the boss or like during uh, a safe area not in the middle of a fight so yeah that's exactly why I have these um, and if you find this video helpful uh, please leave a like um, this is again a beginner video so if you're a beginner um, I'm gonna put out a lot more videos for beginners um, and lots of tips and tricks for beginners and yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time peace